56 days from now, we're going to win North Carolina. We're going to win four more years in the White House. This is a choice, and I must say, this is a choice for many, many decades. I don't think you've had a bigger difference, and maybe you've never had a bigger difference. This is the American dream, and the other, I don't want to say it because I'll get myself in trouble with the fake news back there. Really? But the other is a basic disaster for our country. Joe Biden devoted his career. Thanks, guys. To offshore hey, Debbie. Jobs, throwing open your borders, dragging us into endless foreign wars, along with some of his other friends, and surrendering our children's future to countries like China. Oh, boo. We hate China. This very simple to remember. If Biden wins, yeah. China wins. It's as simple as that. Biden wins China virus. Got it. So you have a situation where we built the greatest economy in the history of the world. In 1950. We close it and then again in 1992. The China plague that came in. The what plague? The China plague? And now we've opened it. And to, by to, the way, to your China. state should be open. Hold on. Close it because of the China plague that came China? in. China? China. And now we've opened it. And by the way, your state should be open. Your state should be open. Uh, they're violating the 50-person maximum gathering ordinance in the state, bars. by the way. Any Mr. Law and Order is just that. like, ah, screw it. 50 people, I don't care. Even if you look statistically, it's you, it's Michigan, it's a couple of others. They're closed. New York. Look, look what they're doing in New York. What they're doing to our beautiful New York. Oh, it's so oh. But you, just <laughs> you got just a, a little bit Yiddish there. Oy vey, what they're open. doing in New they York. A beautiful New York. So badly. Mm. They want to open. They want to have football. They want to have their schools open. And it's a shame what's going on. And I'll tell you what. It is a shame what's going on. Oh, Who's in charge here? Every one of those states will be open. They're doing it for political reasons. No, they're doing it for political reasons. They think by hurting the economy, China. by keeping all these store owners and all these people that work in shops and stores and buildings, offices, they think by keeping them and hurting them, you're hurting the economy. Our economy is doing phenomenally well. It is. Our economy is not it's doing not phenomenally it well. V, it's a super V. You see what's happened. We just had a jobs number come out. One point a hot dog is neither hot nor a dog. Down Discuss. To 8.4%. Nobody thought that. 8.4. No, I, I thought that. We've so also lost 3.5 million jobs. Economy. Gone. We permanently. We closed it up, and now we're opening it up, and your state should go with it. We're opening it up, and we will have... Let, let's not forget the 50 million people that receive PPP, so they're not on the unemployment rolls. But most of those people are not working. A great third quarter. It's going to be announced, by the way, just before the election. But we're going to have a great third quarter. We have unbelievable retail numbers, unbelievable numbers all over. I don't believe this them. This is that Super V, but next year is going to be... Not a thing. ...one of the greatest years in the history of our country economically. And... Unless the wrong person gets in and quadruples everybody's taxes, in which case... You will see a depression, the likes of which you haven't seen. Biden isn't going to raise taxes for anybody Remember making under 400000 Biden wins the violent mobs. You see these mobs all over the place. They're oh, Biden yeah. people. They're Biden uh -huh. states and cities. They're Democrat states. If they win, the uh -huh. mobs win. You see these guys, they go around saying, yeah, I want your meal. Give me that food. Give me the, a, a woman sitting there. She wants to eat. And they come, they grab her food. They grab her drink. Nobody's like that that's not stuff. good but they're not trying it's to eat her that food ideology. that's not what's not going, going on in all these clips not that not Trump is watching on the right wing and you know, they're, they're, Portland, they're basically being assholes but they're not they they're not taking the food the first time we said either do it or we're going in we're gonna have to go in do it let us go in we're saying I spoke to the governor of Oregon the other day let us go in I said let us Oregon. go in we'll straighten it out in less than a half an hour 
Now, the U.S. Marshals did go in to take care of that one guy who killed somebody. You saw that. He killed a young man in the middle of the street violence. In self-defense, yeah. charges against him. Right. And I put out, when is he going to be arrested? And they went in about 15 minutes later. And I'll tell no. you what, our federal government is so ready to go. All they have to do is call us. It'll all be solved. It was it's a couple of days in another state. They have to call us. But all of these places are Democrat-run places, radical left-run places. They don't know what the hell they're doing. If Democratically. Wins, the rioters, arsonists, and anarchists win. He said the other day, well, you know, if I win, that doesn't mean that's going to stop. He doesn't. He will never stop. If what? they win, it's not going to uh -huh. happen, hopefully. What? But if, because this is not like a second-place crowd, let's face it. And are you seeing... What does that even mean, a second-place crowd? Is are that like a super V? All the numbers are coming out. That's why he left. Finally, he left his basement. He said, "We got problems." I'm, I don't think he knows that, but the people uh -huh. who manage him know it. They understand it. He Up by it. eleven points nationwide. Yeah. So I'm running for re-election to keep jobs at home, to put violent criminals behind bars, and to ensure the future belongs to America, not to China and other countries. Because if we win, America wins. You know that. You've seen. Oh, that's that. good. You've I like that. that. Over the last three and a half years, we've secured America's borders, fixed our broken trade deals, and they were broken like you've never seen. They weren't even broken. They were bad. They were bad from day one. Rebuilt so, the awesome power of the United States Not broken, States but military, bad. Uh-huh. Obliterated the ISIS caliphate 100%. Right, yeah. In fact, I got it down to 98%. Remember a year and a half ago? And people said, don't finish it? And they all said... No, no, it's got to be 100. I said, somebody else could finish. We want to get home. They said, no, you got to finish it. So we took another two months. We finished it. So he didn't want to finish. He wanted to leave with 98%. That, that's warrior. what he's bragging about. And they People said, no, no, like let's finish it. Said, yeah. Secured American energy independence. Why is he telling us that? Economy in the history of the world. And now we are very simply, we're doing it again. And we're on track to have, as I said, the best year we've ever had next yeah it was not the greatest the economy in the history of the world it wasn't even close well, we know we that just had the best year of the history of your state last year uh, for those of you watching for the first time, hi, I'm your Heavenly Father, Kevin Williams. This is the live stream. Uh, if you want to go into the chat room, you're welcome to do that, depending on your platform. The best place to watch is probably um, uh, youtube.com slash Father. Uh, they seem to have the quickest chat there at YouTube, but whatever platform you're on, it, it all should work. Uh, so we've covered this before. No, the economy was not the greatest in the history of uh, the states. Just look it up. Use the Google. I uh, look up GDP. We were at 2.3% GDP, which is pretty pathetic. Before the virus hit, we were in manufacturing contraction. Our manufacturing base was shrinking before the virus hit. Trump has choked this economy with his giant tax cuts for the rich, not the middle class, not the lower class, and of course the tariffs, uh, which are the largest tax increase in the history of this country, uh, except of course for the institution of the income tax, which was an amendment to the Constitution. Uh, Trump just did that unilaterally. Uh, here we go. We've created a record-breaking 10.6 million jobs in the last four months next year. Will be the single greatest- in The last four months next year? Now he's predictive. Economic year. Uh, by the way, he's the worst reader I've ever heard outside of the fourth grade. In the history of our country and probably in the history of your state, if your governor ever opens up. But hopefully you're going to have Dan Forrest. You're not going to have to worry about it. Uh, the manuf no, we were in a manufacturing contraction, Arjun. We were. I'll look it up for you. Absolutely send a link. But if sleepy Joe Biden takes power... The economy will collapse. He won't even know the difference. How's the economy? Not good, sir. We're in a depression. Oh, we are? What's that? Joe Biden has spent 47 years shipping North Carolina jobs to China and other countries. You know that. And I've spent the last four years bringing jobs back to our country. We never had so many jobs. We were up to 160 million jobs. We were never anywhere close. We got up to 160 million, and we were never anywhere close to that. Here in North Carolina, voting is already underway. On November 3rd, Americans will decide whether we will quickly return 
to record prosperity or whether we allow the same left-wing extremists that have no idea what they're doing to burn down buildings or take control of government, set fire to a whole country. You know, when they started knocking down the monuments and statues a few months ago, right? I signed a very strong executive order. You want to knock them down, that's fine, but you go to jail for 10 years. It was amazing. It was amazing how that stopped. And then they said, well, we'll do it easily. We'll do it through the process because, you know. That's the Wall Street Journal. U.S. manufacturing shrinks for fifth month, signaling weak start to 2020. That's the, the liberal reg, the Wall Street Journal. But okay. I guess they're lying. The Lincoln Monument, Jefferson Monument. Now we're talking the big stuff. They finally hit the big time. Took them a while to get there, but I said that was going to happen. Come on. What happened? Don't worry there we go. about it. You don't have a thing to worry about. If our foreign adversaries were devising a scheme to cripple America, they could hardly do better than the Biden Kamala Harris. Kamala. Remember Kamala? She started at 15. She was supposed to win. Problem was, she went from 15 to 14 to 12 to 10 to 7 to 4. It's like a free fall. You know why people don't like her? Nobody likes her. She could never be the first woman president. She could never be. That would be an insult to our country. Arjun, there's no link. You said here's the link, but there's no link. Biden wants to impose a $4 trillion tax hike, a ban on American energy, eliminate America's borders, confiscate no, your Biden, guns. No, Biden, Biden does not want to. <laughs> That's, he's gone beyond a ban on fracking, which is not true at all. He does not want to ban fracking, to a ban on American energy. First, he's off railing about how Biden wants to have wind energy and solar energy. Now, Biden wants to ban American energy. A point. We're going to be appointing very pro-crime judges. You should send that link to the Wall Street Journal, that bastion of uh, liberalism. The elites, that's what it is. They're elite, so, you know, they want to use the figures from the BLS. But they want to destroy your suburbs. He want to, you know, the, you know, the rule, the regulation that I just terminated. They want to build low income projects. That I just what? Terminated? What did he say? I just terminated. They want to build, you know, the. Guys, is that a word? Is terminated a word? You know, the rule, the regulation that I just terminated. They want to build low income projects in the suburbs. They've been doing it. They've been destroying suburbs. We're not doing it anymore. Somebody said, Suburban women, how's Trump doing? But do you remember last time too? They said women don't like Trump. I said I think they do. I think they do. When you're a star, they let you do anything. No, they said women don't. And then we did great with women. Remember that great? Was that one of the greatest evenings ever? Four years oh, the election. Let's relive that. But one of the things they did, first of all, we did much better. Now we're doing really well. African-American vote much better. Hispanic vote much better. Okay, I've turned him up. He did better with African-Americans than we thought. He did better with Hispanic than we thought. Uh, I could theoretically turn him up even more, guys, if you need to hear he Trump more. He did really well with women. What's this all about? You know, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy did. And they said Donald Trump is projected the winner of 2016. Yeah, well, he's reliving the election. I'm going to turn on the AC. That was, that was the craziest thing. And they thought, I think they didn't think it. But I'll tell you what, anything we had then, we have much more now. They don't understand. They do understand it. They do, right? They understand it. Look at that beautiful dress. And she wears that dress right through the middle of Hollywood. And everyone says... Thank you very much. Beautiful. Like it. But they want to indoctrinate your children and implement a ruinous shutdown of the United States economy again. Biden said the other day, well, if the experts told me, we're not shutting it down again. We don't have to. We learned about the disease. We did the right thing. We saved millions of lives. People don't realize we saved millions of lives and hundreds of thousands of lives by not letting China. We put a ban on China, heavily infected. 
And Biden was against it. Three months later, he said he did the right thing, I have to admit. It's clear why both China and the flag-burning rioters want Biden to win. They know his policies will be the downfall of America, and they know my policies will lift America to new heights of national greatness like we've never seen before. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. And never forget, they're coming after me because I'm fighting for you. There's a lot of truth in that one. And they do come after me. They yeah, Arjun, no link came through for you. Uh, you might be banned by YouTube. Anyway, um, just go look at bls.gov. It's right there. We're, we were in contraction. The number of, we lost, uh, we had 200, 50,000 manufacturing jobs created in 2018. 50,000 created last year. I mean, there's just, you know, they make this there's no denying that those are facts. I just showed you the Wall Street Journal like in January of this year saying that we the fifth straight month of manufacturing cool contraction. Cool. Nobody loves the military more than me. So they make, they make, you know, I was very lucky though. I had 15 incredible American patriots that came by and they said, are those veterans for Trump signs? Are those new? I've, I've never noticed those before. I like the coloring on them, but obviously Trump thinks he has a little bit of a problem with the military because he's polling very low. Uh, am, I, am I too loud right now? Because I can turn me down as well. So hold on. Let's just do a test here. I'm going up to negative 20 and Trump is going. He never said that. we were. They were there. A little bit about that. They were there. But they make up stories, horrible stories. Many, many. Hey, look. Look at last time. Okay. The... Uh, Fake, dirty dossier. It was all made up. And frankly... It wasn't all made up. It said that the primary gist of it was that Russia preferred Trump in office. That's still the case. If the shoe was on the other foot... Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. If it was on the other foot... The left foot? Many people, 20, 25 people right now in jail for two years, and they'd be there for 50 years because they got caught spying on our campaign. Which, by the way, wouldn't be illegal even if it happened because you were cooperating with the Russians. I mean, the Senate, the Republican Senate intelligence report just came out and said that Manafort was dealing with an agent of the Russian government. But And it's treason or whatever else you want to call it. And it's a disgrace that it's taken this long. It's a disgrace that it's taken this long. And let me just tell you a little secret. Obama got caught, and so did Sleepy Joe Biden. That is a secret. Could you tell us what the crime is? Because that's still a secret. Remember Biden sitting in the room saying, why don't you use the Logan Act? On that's General not what he Flynn. said. Look at General Flynn, what he's going through for years. If that were ever reversed, I'm telling you, you'd have many people in jail for many, many years, and it would have started two years ago. Uh, by the way, what Flynn did, though, was a violation of the Logan Act. I mean, he, he pled guilty. Go. It's a disgrace, but let's see what happens. I like the, the guy who just put hashtag mega2020 in here. His name is Dum Dum. Kind of, you know, nature's little warning signs. Biden's a globalist sellout who spent his career laying waste to American communities. And, you know, he talks about, like, well, I, he's going to do this. He's going to, he doesn't have any idea. He has no clue. He's going to do this. He's been there for 47 years. And, you know, he just really left. You know, he left three and a half, four years ago, right? So he just left. But he's been there for 47 years. So I'm going to do this. So that's 43 years because, you know, that was four years ago. But so, You know, after 47 years, he's had a change of heart. This is the craziest election. This is the cra- – look, somebody said, what's the difference – between crooked Hillary Clinton and slow Joe. Who said that? So the difference is the following. She's meaner, probably not as nice. I don't know, you can't get any worse than her, what do you think? Okay, that means the same thing. But the big difference is she's smarter than he is, okay? He's a nicer person. Could be. But he's not smart, he never was. Not in prime time and certainly not now. Not in prime time? When was he in prime time? Washington vultures ripped apart our towns in exchange for his party's nomination. Biden has now formed an unholy alliance with the most extreme and dangerous elements. The Washington vultures ripped apart our towns in exchange for the nomination? What the hell does that even mean? What what Washington vultures... 
What? Of the radical left, you know that. No, it, it, Arjun, you don't have to look at the article. I, I know these stats. Go, go to bls.gov. Look up manufacturing jobs in 2018, then look them up in, uh, in 2018. 250,000, and that's not what I said anyway. That's, I didn't say that 250,000 manufacturing jobs were lost. I said there were 200,000 fewer manufacturing jobs gained in 2019 than 2018. Then, towards the end of 2019, we actually went into contraction. Just look up manufacturing contraction. You'll find it. And if you have questions about the actual number of jobs, go to Trump's website, bls.gov. That's part of the Trump administration. They will show you all of the jobs by industry, and you can narrow it down to manufacturing and then look at it there. Oh, we, I, I'm sorry you're late to the game, but we've been through this a hundred times before. That with Crazy Bernie and everyone. And by the way, you know who's further left than Crazy Bernie? Kamala. Kamala. Kamala? Kamala. Exactly, Arjun. Do you feel my pain? Just go look at the actual figures on bls.gov. Don't paint it in some article or whatever. If you don't want to do that, go to the actual source, bls.gov. It's right there. You remember she left the race. Sort of interesting that they picked her. Because in theory, they should be able to win California. I don't know. Maybe we'll make a play for that one, too. But they pick somebody from California. I don't, I don't quite get it. But you always pick somebody that's hot, that's going up in the polls, right? Going up. Frankly, I'm... Like, like Mike Pence. <laughs> I'm sure, I don't think I've ever said this, but probably Hillary should have picked Bernie Sanders to be her running mate, right? Because, Would have been you know, a good as idea. As it sounds, he was hot. Uh -huh. He gave her a hell of a fight. A lot yeah. of people think he won, and it got taken away. One thing about no. Bernie, he's the greatest loser I've ever seen, because... Look, yeah. any children here? No, not too many. He's a but very gracious before. loser. He got screwed four years ago, and he got screwed again. You know, Biden got the nomination, right? He got right, is this going to be about Pocahontas? Biden would have sat back, and if Elizabeth Warren, Pocahontas, you remember Pocahontas? So, Biden. so, so Bernie lost because Biden refused to sit back? Has this guy ever been through a primary? She finally faded. She faded badly. But if she would have dropped out on Super Tuesday, prior to Super Tuesday, Bernie would have been the nominee. Right. And so Bernie would have been in the nominee if not as many people had run in the primary. So, maybe? But you know what? We have reality. So let's try and stick with that. I don't know who I'd rather run against. One is super left the other one's had to become super left one is competent the other one is only half competent now oh only half competent. heading south i have He's god half, there's a measurement half to competent it. and heading south rapidly but the globalists and the leftists make natural partners because they're united by their contempt for the american middle class in the truest sense that, so that's again that's just code for jewish so the globalists are the jews this is the way that the the conspiracy theories go that's why powerful corporations and far-left politicians have both sided with radical demonstrated over, if you look at that, it's over the law-abiding areas that we have. You know, Republican cities and towns are doing great. We're doing great. And we don't have crime, and we don't have this violence. Chicago, over the weekend, many people killed, many people shot, shot. They're actually hey, Chris. shot and killed. New yeah. York, the same thing. New York, 15 people died. Life. They're up 300% in certain categories. And you say, what's happening? And we want to send them in so badly. Joe Biden and his party spent the entire summer cheering on the rioters, rampaging through Democrat-run cities, falsely labeling them as peaceful protesters. And you know, we call you peaceful. Some, some of them were peaceful protesters and some of them were rioters. Yeah, that's, you, can, you can have both kinds. I, I know because Kevin Lee Daughter was there. She was a peaceful protester. I was down at one of the protests. I wasn't necessarily protesting. I think the whole thing's silly, but I was there, but I wasn't rioting. Two different things. Peaceful protesters. You know why? Why? Because they have rules in these Democrat-run states that if you're campaigning, you can't have more than five people. They did that for me. If you're going to church, you can't go to church anymore. 
You can't go to church. You, you can go to church. You just can't do it indoors with a whole bunch of people. It's, you know, does God have to be in his house? No, my mom was a Lutheran minister. God's everywhere. If you want to pray by yourself, that's fine. He still hears you. That's from my mom. You know, you can fact check that if you want to. You can't go to church. You can't do anything. You have to stay in your house. But if you're willing to riot running down Main Street, if you're willing to riot and stand on top of each other's face and do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, the, uh, producer Debbie's absolutely right. This is this is just vile. But this has been four years of vile. And I think that might be the turning point. That might be the decision that, especially since Joe seems to be now be leading with the older folks. Hillary lost older folks, by the way. And they're the ones that vote en masse. That's how Hillary lost. Reason number 47 that Hillary lost. Trump actually won old folks. They had no idea how vile he was because he put on his presidential act before the election. Now he just says whatever the F comes to mind. You want to do? You're allowed to do that because you're considered a peaceful protester. So we decided to call all our rallies peaceful protests. Okay. Instead of standing up to the far left rioters, Biden condemns law enforcement and condemns America. Didn't even mention the words that we love and Biden has not condemned law enforcement. Moving on. Respect, law and order. You know, they're all telling me, even my people, my very brilliant consultants who I don't listen to too much, maybe I should. <laughs> Sir, please don't say law and order. That's too tough. Now, in the meantime, you look at these streets, people are all crazy. They say, say, yeah, I, I mean, General Kelly could turn the tide of this election. I, I wish he would do it. Law and order, but with safety. I just, I hope the reporters keep asking him about General Kelly, and he keeps insulting General Kelly to the point where Kelly actually says something. And with security. I said, look, people get it. It's just law and order. Is that okay? Lord, we want law and order. They say, law and order and safety, sir. Could you add the word safety? Because it's, sir, I said, I don't want to, it's, it's sort of obvious, right? We want law we want order. Biden is fueling the violence with his relentless attacks on police and his constant slander that America is racist. Is he going to take questions to tonight? Almost every police group in the country. <laughs> Sheriffs in Florida, Ohio, Texas, North Carolina, all over the country. Yeah, one by but one, the masks are coming off. starting to talk a little bit tougher now. Did you notice that? He sees what's going on. His polls we should are have a pool. like a rock, and he sees what's going on. Now he's starting to say, no, we need uh, law and order. Who's next? We got, no, uh, say that. <laughs> we got glasses. He'll, he'll never get this. Oh, he had his mask on a little while ago. Now it's gone. The whole left. We got, uh, running that party. You take I can't left. even see her. She, we got the ninja over the here. These people we got glasses. Crazy. You don't want to be dealing. We got, uh, Meanwhile, front Biden, row blue mask. He doesn't say a word about the we got lady who doesn't understand how a mask works. That's under nose right there. Violent crime in Democrat control. This could be my cousin, Sean. It's not, but it could be. So we'll just call her cousin, Sean. My heart is with the hardworking patriots of all backgrounds who build up our communities. Not this the is the, I believe, the villain from and The Incredibles 2, right behind Trump's head we'll there. This mask is gone. That's not working. Next time you see video of screaming far-left maniacs shouting wildly at peaceful Americans, remember this. These are Biden supporters. Yeah, 93% and if peaceful wins, protests. They will be in is what uh, Atran was government. talking about. As sure as you're sitting there, you'll Here's be another one that doesn't understand how masks work. You'll be taking your statues down. Uh, I'm going to call her Karen. I don't know what to call I'm this guy. Kidding. You'll be taking them down. You it's have all women behind him. Have you noticed? Report. I'm just telling you, go get it. You wouldn't even believe it. It's too crazy to even talk about. But we're never going to Here's somebody a with uh, uh, um, underlying conditions. This Both this veteran and the underlying the way, conditions lady, they, they don't have masks on at all. And by the way, when they she had a mask on her ear later, or earlier, that's Karen. When you get a ballot, ah, we're just going to call her Karen's friend. Vote, darling, I wanted to go and vote. Why are they sending me those ballots? There's something really... The only way we lose North Carolina and a couple of others, like Nevada, we're doing great there. Now the governor... And this, I believe, that's so Carol well, Baskin. Gonna send out unsolicited. You have solicited and unsolicited. They're going to send out millions of ballots to you. People that never really thought in terms of it. Now, 
Sometimes you'll what? Ask for a... Yeah, they're going to have millions of ballots set, set to your people in North Carolina. But in North Carolina, you actually have to request absentee ballots. So, again, this, he has no idea what he's talking about. Ballot. That's a solicited ballot. It's okay. You have to go through a process. You have to sign a form. You get it. Sending out millions of unsolicited ballots. Make sure you send the ballot in and then go to your polling place and make sure it counts. Make sure it counts. That's not how you make sure it counts. Uh, hold on, I'll check on North Carolina. The only way they can win is by doing very bad things. That's the only way. Look at this. You know, if Joe Biden came here and made a crisis, th this is not the most convenient place. You know, it's an airport. Hi, fellas. They did a good job guiding the planet. They're great. They're great. No. Yeah, North Carolina is now part of the ballot track system, which allows you, they have it here in California too. I will get a text when they get my ballot and then when it's counted, etc. cetera, uh, also an email. So in North Carolina, they don't have to go to the polling place. The polling place is gonna have no idea what they've done. They have a system for that, for absentee ballots called ballot tracks. Oh, you're right. This is an airport. If he were, I, honestly, I really, if he had 200 people, I think it would be a lot. I really mean. You ever see the gyms with the circles? That's his crowd. Yeah, that's social distancing. That's what we're supposed to be doing during a fucking pandemic where 200,000 Americans have lost their lives. Mr. President, moving on. If he had 200 people. I was told we have 15,000 people here tonight. That's all. As far as the eye can see. But they'll correct it. They'll say, he's wrong. It was 14,500. He's misrepresenting. He's misrepresenting. Now, I was told we have 15,000 and we're in the middle of an airport someplace. It's a wonderful thing. And you know, I actually think, I don't know if you agree. So we go to the arenas, but because of uh, China, the arenas aren't working out too well, right? You can't really do that anymore for a while. Yeah, Herman Cain died. <laughs> I'll tell you, we're rounding the turn on that. But because of that, so we said, where? Because we have the same crowds. I think we have bigger crowds. Potentially, we were in. New no, they showed the crowd on one of the other broadcasts I was watching, right side broadcast. <laughs> like maybe 3,000, nowhere near 15,000. They could not fit 15,000 into an airport hangar. New Hampshire the other night, we had to turn away 8,000 people at an airport. We're doing all mostly hangar things because we're outside. Outside is very much different than being inside, according to the uh, great doctors, right? But they say it's very much different. So we're doing these, and we're doing the... Oh, this guy the has got his nose out. He I, keeps leaning really in. I really believe that these crowds are bigger than they were four years ago. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> pretty amazing. We started off in New Hampshire. We said, look, let's have a thousand people. And they had like five or six show up. Arjun, the labor participation rate doesn't matter. That's, it's manufacturing. If the jobs are created, people will fill the jobs. You know how you fix that, though, with the with the seven million jobs that we had that weren't filled, immigration. You know what the president's doing? Stopping immigration. So either way, your argument doesn't work. But they had no, but manufacturing was in a contraction. That's why you didn't have people joining the manufacturing workforce. It's got nothing to do with the labor participation. We had people who were looking for jobs, and manufacturing is one of the easiest positions to fill. It's low-skill labor, Arjun. Most of it is factory work. It's, it's, I mean, yes, if it was uh, uh, audio engineers, you need a lot of training. If it was civil engineers, you need a lot of training. Um, yeah, no, I've looked at the labor participation rate. It comes, goes up and it goes down. But again, manufacturing was in contraction. Just Google that. You keep arguing it, but it keep, that's just a fact. Thousands more than, you know, we're trying to be nice, but then eventually we landed two weeks ago. We landed in New Hampshire and the entire runway was lit up with thousands and thousands of people as the plane. Really? It was lit up with people? The plane was landing. And I mean, it's really amazing what's going on all over the country. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's a great thing. More support than we had four years ago. Because, you know, four years ago, I said I was going to do this. I was going to cut your taxes. I was going to cut regulations. I was going to get right to try. I was going to take care of your vets. I was going to rebuild your military. I was going to do all these things. And you said, you said, I don't know. That's a lot of, you know what? I've actually done more than I promised. Build a wall. Build a wall. Sure. 
I've done more. For instance, you never heard me say, you never heard me say, you, a lot of you were at various rallies. You never heard me talking about Space Force. We built U.S. manufacturing activity pulls off 11-year low. Of the United States military. 11-year low. Armed forces called Air Force. I never talked about that. That's something we never talked about. I only figured that one out after I became president because I saw what Russia was doing and what China was doing. No, it doesn't. It's it's not germane to the issue. Manufacturing was in contraction. That's what I keep telling you. You keep arguing it, but it's just a fact, Arjun. It's just a fact. I just showed you another one. We just hit an 11-year low in manufacturing. I said, we have to do the same thing. And if you think that was easy, that was not easy. That was not easy. It was very hard. But what we've done, you know, the wall now is past 300 miles. It's exactly the wall that our great Border Patrol wanted. I was hoping a nice concrete plank for the builders in here. Boom, boom, you put it. Sir, we have to be able to see through. I said, all right, let's go. Much yeah, yeah, the steps. Wall Story. And I uh, said, guys, do you remember go. where... So we're um, over 300 miles now. Huh, it won't work. And we will be finished with it very soon. And we... Can't stop him. There we go. He shut up finally. Uh, do you remember what day uh, Trump did the big, like, look at how great our economy's recovered. We've got a super V. But he showed the manufacturing chart that showed that manufacturing had shrunk because of his tariffs. And, and it's then it took a, a nosedive off a cliff and then it has come slightly back up again. Do you remember what day that was where he had his big... Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, without you guys even, you guys haven't even gotten to the point where you're listening to me say this, and I just realized it was that first conference in Bedminster. I will find it. We have among the safest borders that we've ever had. Uh, Arjun, I'm go or whoever else cares about the manufacturer, I'm going to show you Trump bragging about a chart that shows you that manufacturing was in contraction By because far. of him. It's a good time to have it, too. And you know, Mexico is paying for the wall, just so you understand. They don't say that. They never say it. But because it does not happen. It's a small fee at the border. You know, the tollbooths. We have tollbooths. So the, it's the biggest border in the world in terms of... A small fee at the border that's going to make up $15 billion in cost to the wall. How many, how many millions of people are that paying five bucks a shot? So people going across and in terms of industry, believe it or not, the southern border... We're putting a small toll on, and maybe we're going to do something with remittance. That's where people come here, make money, and they send it back. So we'll do something, and we're going to get all the money that we spent in the mall. Wall will be coming back. So remember, I used to say, "Who's going to pay for it?" They'd say Mexico, right? That's right. You would say that. Mexico is going to pay. And what happens if they fight us? Remember that answer. It's going to get 10 feet higher. Remember that? What happens if they fight us on the wall? The wall's going to get 10 feet higher. But now Mexico and I get along great. In fact, they have 27,000 soldiers along our southern border protecting us from people coming into our country. Can you imagine that? So, 27,000. And I did that so that we don't put tariffs on their products coming in. It was very simple. I said, you got to do it. Uh, they're, they're not watching our border, by the way. That, that, that makes no sense. They're not watching our border to keep people from leaving the country. And the president's been great. He's a friend of mine. He's doing a very good job. Not easy. They're, they're on the southern border. Mexico's southern border trying to keep caravans from coming up. Mexico's not easy, but he's doing a very good job. But the wall is... Almost completed, and it's a tremendous wall. It's everything that the Border Patrol people wanted. I gave them everything. I said, what else do you want? And they, it's wired for every single thing you could have. Remember the Democrats? We don't want a wall. We want drones flying. Oh, that helps us a lot, drones. So you can watch everybody pour into our country, right? <laughs> Biden supports cutting police funding, and he has pledged to end cash bail. Just last Care week, spell? Sleepy Joe what proudly accepted the endorsement of the pro-criminal anti-police Portland district attorney who has a policy of releasing rioters, vandals, criminals, and violent extremists without charge. Now, last night, though, they arrested more than they've ever done because we said you have to. We said you have to. And we told them about we will federalize them. We'll do whatever you need. And I spoke to the governor. It looks like they're finally, after 107 days, like they're finally doing what they're supposed to be doing. But we'll let you know very soon. Otherwise, we're going in. 
The Biden Bernie manifesto pledges to implement. He keeps saying he's going to go in. It's been uh, almost four years now of saying that he was going to go in. Never goes in. Meant these same policies nationwide. Now you got to understand, Bernie's a radical lefty, but not as bad as her. But a radical left. And I got a lot of Bernie voters, I think 15% last time, because they agree with me on trade. They understand that many of these countries- It was 12%, so th those allies, are the polls. Are ripping us off. They're ripping us off on trade. I agree with them on that. The difference is I know how to do something about it. They don't, they don't have a clue. They just know they're being ripped off. And a lot of Bernie people feel that. That's a big point. And they came over and they voted for me instead of Crooked Hillary, which was a very nice thing. We appreciate it. We hope we don't lose it because we've really implemented things. You know, we've taken in billions and billions and billions of dollars for China from China. But we haven't taken in any money from China. That's not the way that the tariffs work. Uh, guys, I was wrong. It wasn't Bedminster where he was showing those charts. Do you remember where he showed like chart after chart? I would have sworn it was in Bedminster, um, but it might've been right before that. So can anybody remember where he was like, and here's the automobiles and look how do, great we're doing here. And here's manufacturing and look how, do you remember where that was? And China's never given us 10 cents. It's a one way street with China. They haven't given us, we signed a great trade deal, but the ink wasn't dry when the plague came in. So I view that trade deal as uh, much differently than I did before, much differently. It's a great deal. They just last week, they ordered the biggest order of corn in history, the biggest order of soybeans in history. And I say, uh, just shows you though they're smart, <laughs> very smart. Instead of well, saying, you know, he's not talking. He's nothing if, if not articulate. Just shows you the order of soybeans in history. And I say, uh, just shows you though they're smart, very smart. Instead of saying, you know, he's not talking very nicely about us and we're not gonna order anymore, we're not gonna do business, no. Instead, they do the opposite. They give us the biggest orders we've had. Our farmers are very happy. Our farmers are very happy. <laughs> biggest order of corn, biggest order of beef, biggest order of soybeans. And I gave the farmers $28 billion because that's what you were targeted for by China. And I gave you 28 out of the tariffs and we had tens of billions of dollars left over, which went into the U.S. Treasury. But nobody's ever done this before. Nobody's ever done this before. With Biden, it's the reverse. His son goes, sits down. And yet we just had a record trade deficit in July. June and July, both record trade deficits. For 10 minutes with the father and whoever the hell they sat down with. Yeah, I thought so too, PF, but I, I can't find it. You'll make millions of dollars a year. And he has no experience at all. Never had that before. Did, didn't he do back-to-back -back press conferences in New Jersey? He did a, one on a Saturday and then one again on a Sunday. Did he not do that? Biden's plan is to appease the domestic terrorists. My plan is to arrest them. So on November 3rd, America faces a very simple choice. Do what you want. Vote for the candidate backed by violent left-wing rioters if you have to. Or do what you want to vote for the candidate backed by the selfless heroes of law enforcement and just about everybody else. When do you see the numbers? When do you see the numbers? You know, there was a poll that just came out. It was, I think it was Gallup. And it was a weird kind of a poll because it said 62% of the people that are polled are lying. I said, that's a big number, right? I think it was 62% a couple of weeks ago. It came out. And they're only lying if it's us because they don't want to be bothered. In other words, they're not lying about Sleepy Joe. They're lying about us. And I don't know if I'm supposed to love that or hate it. I don't know if it's an insult or not, but we'll take it. We don't give a damn. But if that's the case, we have a virtual landslide going. We have a virtual landslide going, and this would look like it. We're joined tonight by some really great friends of mine, representatives, senators, uh, just some incredible people, people that have really helped me, and we have to get them in office. And let's start off with Senator Tom Tillis. Tom, please Tom. Thank you. He's been by my side. Thank you, Tom, very much. Representatives Greg Murphy, Virginia Fox, uh, Mark Walker, Dan Bishop, and Ted Budd. What a I can't group. pause it. What Come a on. group. 
Uh, there we go. Finally. Uh, so what he's trying to say, it wasn't, it, there was no poll from Gallup saying that 62% of the people are lying to the polls. It was a poll from the Cato Institute, and it said 62% of Americans have beliefs, uh, political beliefs, that they don't think they can share. Not that they were lying to the polls. Th they're afraid to share them, is what they said. Uh, anyway. Water group, thank you, fellas. They're warriors. Boy, I'll tell you, those house guys, they were in there, they were fighting for us. We were 196 to nothing, right? when uh, Crazy Nancy impeached us, right? They impeached me for making a phone call that was perfect. It was a perfect call. I'll go down as the only president in history that got impeached for making an absolutely perfect phone call. He will not. Thank goodness I had the call because they totally misrepresented what was on the call. If you ever heard the shifty shift get up in Congress and say what I said, if I ever said that, it would have been terrible. But you know what? Fortunately, we had really talented people taking down everything word for word. We had. Uh, let's find out if he says that it was released after Schiff uh, did the summary of it. Schiff did a parody of it after the transcripts were released, which then Trump has subsequently changed to Shifty Schiff did it, and then he had to release the transcripts. There was a he shifted it from before to after. And I don't know if he's doing that to somehow because he thinks it makes it sound better or if he honestly believes he released the transcripts in reaction to Schiff summarizing the transcripts that he released the day before. The call perfectly. And if I didn't have it somehow with these people, I guess I'd still be here if you want to know the truth. But it was a lot easier. But we were 196 to nothing. The Republicans stuck together. And Kevin McCarthy's done a fantastic job. He really has. So his own party voted against impeachment. Shocking. And with the exception of a half a vote from Mitt Romney, you can have him. No such thing as half a vote. He's not too popular. I want to tell you, he's not a very popular guy in Utah. He's not too popular. So it's 52 and a half to a half. He's, uh, he's a beauty, I'll tell you, that guy. He couldn't get elected dog catcher in Utah right there. Remember Utah, they said, it's too close to call. This was before the election. And then they announced, Utah, the polls are closed. Donald Trump has won the state of Utah. Do you remember that? Like immediately, I won by a lot. And there was some guy running, McMuffin, McMuffin, right? McMuffin, he was supposed to be second. Even Hillary beat him. What a group. Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest, Dan. Get out and vote for him. Get out and vote for him, okay? Tell you, he'll be a great governor. He loves your state. He'll be a great governor. Tom is going to be a great, great senator for another six years. We need them both. And I hope you're going to do well, Dan. I know you're really getting up there. It's getting very close. I'll be honest. If this governor that you have, I know him. You know, we had to take our convention away. He said, you're allowed to have 10 people in the arena, 10. Because it said one room, 10, you're not supposed to have political rallies. I said, you know the money that your state is gonna be losing? But if this guy doesn't open up your state, because almost all of them are open now, if he doesn't open up your state, you have no choice. You're gonna vote for him anyway, but Dan, you'll be so, so good. Dan Forrest, go and vote. The Republican nominee for North Carolina Attorney General, Jim O'Neill. Jim. Oh, shut up. Let's see where he's at. Oh, we have a lot of big, big shots over there, I see. But what do you think about a guy named Mark Meadows? Nah. Asian, TPP, the South Korea disaster deal, and mass amnesty for illegal aliens. Think of it. But, but, the big news, he's changed, he's changed. After 47 years, I've changed, I swear to you, I've changed. Did you see him in the debates? He was not too good, but that's okay. He was better against Bernie. Something's going on there, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about. But he was better against Bernie, but. Yeah, he's previously contended that somehow Joe Biden was on drugs for the debate against Bernie. In the other debates, he was giving them everything he wants, everything they want. Uh, free health care for people that come into the country illegally, colleges, everything. Now the New Deal, under the New Deal, they get lawyers. If they come in, 
to our country illegally, we supply them with legal advice. You believe it? Lawyers. This is what we need, is more lawyers. This state lost 43... Yeah, screw the Constitution. 3% of all manufacturing jobs after the twin disasters of NAFTA and China's entrance into the World Trade Organization. That's courtesy of Biden and his friends. Earlier this year, I kept my promise to North Carolina when we ended the NAFTA nightmare and uh, we signed the brand new U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement into law. Biden was a senator when China came into the WTO. They all said it was impossible. I, I don't know why he's responsible for China and the WTO all of a sudden, but there you have it. Done. We got it done. And it's a great deal. And it prevents people, it prevents companies from fleeing your state. Karen's still got her mask on. Mexico or Canada, making a product, selling it to us. With It's such a disincentive to do that now. That was the thing that was most important to me. I used to hate when I'd see all these companies leaving our country, going to Mexico in particular, but Canada also. A lot of them going to Canada. And they'd make a product. Everybody gets fired in our country. They close their business and they make... The people in the back are getting really bored. Make the same product in a different country. They send it back to us. No tax at the border. No tariff. No nothing. It doesn't work that way anymore. I took the toughest ever action to stand up to China's pillaging, plundering, ransacking, and rampant theft of North Carolina jobs and U.S. jobs. I'm ready for a nap. Joe Biden's agenda is made in China. My agenda is made in the USA. Biden was, was responsible for the recovery the plan, the Buy America plan. We provided a historic $28 billion in relief to our amazing farmers. Yeah, you said that already. We always stand with American agriculture. These are the greatest people, the finest people. Record farm debt. Others take advantage Record of farm suicides. You know, record farm years, bankruptcies under Trump. For 20 years, you look at a chart. It's just been this way for 20 years. Now it's going back up. Of what? I mean, it helped that I gave you $28 billion in all fairness, right? I don't know. If I didn't do that, and I took it all from China, it was very easy. If I didn't do that... He didn't take, took it from American brokers, China, really. importers. There's a difference between having farmers that are doing well and having no farmers. $28 billion over two years. They got hit. One year, $16 billion. One year, $12 billion. I said to Sonny Perdue, Secretary... <sighs> Agriculture, great guy, an ex-farmer, governor of Georgia for eight years, great guy. I said, Sonny, how much are they being targeted for? He said, sir, $12, $12 billion for the year before, and last year, sir, it was 16. So I said, 28, okay, that's fine. I said, we will give them 28 billion. They were unfairly targeted. And that was in order to get me, and by the way, China wants Joe Biden so badly. Oh. They want, and you know who else would like them very badly? By the Iran way, the, like the vast, badly. vast majority of that so money has gone to 4% of the farms. That, we paid that $28 billion billion has gone to the 4%, the large farms. Cash. And you know what's going to happen? They're just waiting for 60 the Minutes did a great article about it. Uh, to, you can look it up online. Their GDP went down 24%. Nobody Go to 60minutes.com or cbsnews.com. One of the two of those will work. Just look up American Farmers 2020. Until after the election. When I win the election, they're going to come to us and make a deal so fast. Watch how fast it'll be. They're Ooh, dying to make a deal, but they do want to wait. Let's wait two months. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we're going to get lucky and Slow Joe gets in and we're going to make a great deal. No, they'll be, they'll be in immediately after the election. I like Slow Joe, we'll actually. A fair deal with them. But what Obama Way better did, than Sleepy Joe. did with that horrible Iran deal. I ended last administration's war on American energy. Biden has pledged to end production of American oil, shale, clean coal, no fracking, wiping out millions. Uh, oil uh, the, had a boom under Obama, so there's really no war on American energy under the last administration. Millions of jobs and forcing us to buy. But we became the world's largest exporter of crude oil under Obama. Energy from foreign polluters. We don't want to buy energy. We've done that for Paludas. a long time, for decades and decades. We don't want to do that anymore. I like being energy independent, don't you? We're, we're not energy independent. Last year, we imported uh, net 245 
barrels of uh, petroleum coming into the country. We're not energy independent at all. We produce more than anybody else now, which is, I guess, good. Uh, we're using our resources. I mean, bad for the environment, but good in terms of the economy. Uh, but we're still bringing in 245 billion barrels of oil. That should go down this year, but it might go up because other countries are not uh, importing as much of our oil as before. It, it's a, a complicated equation, but no, we're not energy independent at all. And I'm sure that most of you notice when you go to fill up your tank of gas in your car, oftentimes it's below $2. You said, how the hell did this ever happen? Thank you, President Trump. Does anybody Trump. live where gas is less than $2? Thank you, President Trump. Where am I going to go, President Trump? And look at your electric bills, everything else. These guys, your electric would go up four, five, six times. The Green New Deal, it's called the Green New Nightmare. I don't know. I lived in Washington for years where our electricity f f fell from the sky. We'd get it through hydroelectric dams, renewable energy, and uh, electricity was dirt cheap. It's like 10 cents a kilowatt or something like that when I lived in Seattle. I'm president. America will remain the number one producer of oil and natural gas on Earth, and we will remain energy independent. It should be for many. We're not energy independent now. Many, many years to come. But just that's just not how it works. Because the fact is, we don't have to be in the Middle East other than we want to protect Israel. We've been very good to Israel. But other than that, we don't have to be in the Middle East. We don't need, you know, there was a time we needed desperately. Oh, we don't need that anymore. We have more than they do. Isn't that nice? After years of rebuilding other countries. What, is, what does that have to do with being in the Middle East? Again, he just doesn't understand how things work. Countries, we are finally building our country. America first. America first. It's America first. America. To bring Pretty sure he said America. Country. America first. Yeah, he said America. It's America first. America first. To bring hope to our inner cities, I created opportunity zones. I worked with Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina. What a great guy he is. Passed criminal justice reform, prison reform delivered permanent funding for historically black colleges and universities that Obama never did or couldn't do. And Biden. I call it O-Biden. O-Biden. It's too long to say Obama and Biden. Just call it O-Biden. Dude, you've already been talking for like 45 before minutes. before the China virus, we achieved the lowest African-American, Hispanic-American, Asian-American unemployment rates ever recorded. And we're heading back to that level rapidly. Biden Roar. spent the last 47 years African -American betraying African -American, right American now. voters. He betrayed them. Look at 1994. Take a look at that. He betrayed them, what he did to them. He closed the factories in Baltimore and sent them to Beijing. We've talked about this before. But Biden helped pass the crime bill, but somehow he's against law and order and wants complete anarchy. That's, you can't have it both ways. They were all sent to Beijing. So many people went Are we there. Done? They went to all parts of the world, but a lot went to Beijing. He shuttered the plants in Chicago. And he, he didn't shutter anything, but Biden doesn't own businesses like Trump does. And sent them to Shanghai, unlike the previous administration. Under my administration, we put America first. America. And actually, if we weren't interrupted with constant investigations that went nowhere, and nobody has been through what I've been through as President of the United States, nobody. You know, they used to say Abraham Lincoln got the worst press. I said, there's no way he got worse than me. But Lincoln was very, very badly treated by the fake news. Maybe in his case it was real. I can tell you, in my case, it's fake. It's totally fake. But. Nobody's been, and it should never be allowed to happen again. Let's see what happens. We caught him cold. Let's see what happens. Caught him cold. But if we didn't have to, you know, that takes time and energy and all of the things, the time that we spent on this impeachment hoax, Nancy Pelosi with her hair dryer and the whole thing. It, it wasn't a hoax. You were impeached. You must keep all beauty parlors closed. Then she's in a beauty parlor with no mask. Oh. 
And then she said the, the biggest, the biggest person. She could have said, okay. She said, you got me. But she said, I got set up by the beauty parlor owner, who happens to be a Trump person, by the way. I like the beauty parlor person. She said, I got set up by the owner of the beauty parlor. Now she set me up. I said, how are you going to do with Putin, Kim Jong-un, and President Xi of China? <laughs> no, it's terrible. She's always preaching about the mask. You've got to wear the mask at all times, indoor, outdoor. When you go to bed at night, <laughs> put the mask on. I've spent the last four years keeping my promises and delivering for the African-American community. And when I'm reelected, the best is yet to come. I'll tell you that. Yeah, so lawn lady got a text from the hairdresser a day in advance saying, hey, Nancy Pelosi's coming tomorrow. And the salon owner didn't say, oh yeah, no, you can't. We're, we can't do that. We're closed. She just let it happen and then recorded the whole thing. So. Bye, Chris. Perhaps in no area have our opponents more thoroughly betrayed working families of all backgrounds than on the subject of immigration. Under my administration, we've achieved the most secure border in American history. Now, I have to tell you that 300 miles of wall helps a lot. Remember, they said, walls are old-fashioned. They don't work, really. I always say, and I've said it four or five times, I'll say it again if you'd like me to, two things if you come back in a 1,000 years, 2,000 years or 3,000 years. If you're lucky enough, assuming we have something with, with the world is a crazy place, isn't it? Uh -huh. But if you come back in a thousand years, there are two things with all the computers and all the everything changes every day. You invent a new cell. You invent a new laptop. Everything is obsolete, like about two weeks after you invented, right? Two things that will never get obsolete. Toilets. The wall and the wheel. Right? And toilets. A wheel and a wall. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? That's a wall. But I would say walls and wheels Wheel? have a great future. Wall. We ended catch and release, stopped asylum fraud, and we've deported 20,000 gang members, including the radical MS-13. We invested $2.5 trillion in the United States. What's sad is all the people that still have their masks on, they think they're being protected by the masks. United States military, all made in the USA, by the way. Nanny the Trump. The newest, finest military we've ever had. And gave our great warriors their largest pay raises in many, many decades. Pay raises? We passed VA choice and VA accountability, which everybody said could not happen. And veteran satisfaction with the VA. It had already happened in 2014 under Obama has just reached 91%, the highest satisfaction level in history. I withdrew from the last administration's disastrous Iran nuclear deal, as I said, and I kept my promise and recognized the true capital of Israel and opened the United States Embassy in Jerusalem. And then I recognized Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights, and we achieved the first breakthrough in the Middle East peace for many, many decades, decades. Even the New York Times said that was an amazing achievement. Do you believe that? I said, let me see that one. No, we did something that nobody thought was possible. And it's Israel, as you see and as you've read, Israel and UAE, highly respected leader, Mohammed, highly, highly respected. And now we have other countries in the Middle East. They all want to come in. It's going to be a beautiful picture. It's going to be a beautiful picture. We killed the vicious founder and leader of ISIS, al-Baghdadi. We killed him. Why didn't Biden get him? You know, they were after him for eight years. They never got him. I got him. 
the world's number one terrorist and well, the mass they, murder of American troops. They got Bin Laden. Kasim Soleimani. We got him to Soleimani. <laughs> Al-Baghdadi and Soleimani, the two worst terrorists in the world for many, many years, many decades. We kept America terrorists. out of new wars. And we're bringing our troops back home. We're bringing them back home from all these faraway places. We spend hundreds of billions of dollars. And what do we get out of it? Biden voted for the Iraq war. He supported the defense sequester that gutted our military. He opposed the mission to take out Osama bin Laden. Biden voted for the Iraq war. He supported the defense sequester that gutted our military. He opposed the mission to take out Osama bin Laden. He opposed the killing of Soleimani. He guttered our military. Not guttered. Not, I can't even say it. Not gutted. Guttered. Oversaw the rise of ISIS. And for eight years, he couldn't find or kill al-Baghdadi, the founder of ISIS. Couldn't find him. They looked. They couldn't find him. I found him, and we hit him good. We hit him good. I, ISIS wasn't in existence at the beginning, but anyway. And you saw the Mueller family on television. You saw that at the convention, what al-Baghdadi did with their beautiful daughter. And uh, incredible how our troops handled that. You should see it. It was incredible. Biden also cheered the rise of China as a positive development positive development for America and for the world. How are we doing with China? We just have the plague. We've had other plagues sent by them. I wonder if they did it on purpose. What do you think? Huh? I got to tell you, I was sailing to an easy election. This was going to be so easy. I probably would have not been here tonight. I would have said, no, we don't have to bother. This was going to be, and now we have to work against a guy that doesn't know where he is. I can't believe it. When I banned travel from China, Biden called it hysterical and xenophobic. Do you remember that? I banned it. Everybody told me, no, 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 you don't have to do that. But I said, we have to because Wuhan is very infected and they're coming here. So I banned it. Later on, it was said to be a great move. If we had listened to Joe, hundreds of thousands more Americans would have died. If Biden wins, China will own America and it won't take long with his son Hunter walking out with all of that. Uh, Biden said that it was xenophobic for Trump to call it the China virus. In fact, while the announcement was being made that uh, a very limited uh, ban on some people from certain areas in China was going on, Biden was on stage giving a, a press conference or giving a rally uh, in uh, New Hampshire at the time, uh, at the same time. So he called Trump xenophobic as the announcement was taking place. Anyway, there were all kinds of problems with the ban. It's not a ban, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, moving on. Or not. Oh, maybe we're stuck here. Maybe it stopped working. Maybe we don't have to watch the rest of it. No experience oh, crap. whatsoever. No investment experience. He didn't even have a job. Joe Biden is weak. He had several jobs. He will always cave to China who is strong. When the virus arrived, we launched the largest national mobilization since World War II. We're delivering life-saving therapies. It wasn't when the virus arrived. It was several months afterwards. And we And it's still not enough. We still, we should all have N95 masks at our disposal. Disposable N95 masks at our disposable. We don't, I, I have no idea why. Why are we still wearing these cloth masks that don't even protect us? It, we have achieved some of the great numbers, the case fatality rates. We have the lowest of any major country in the world. People not, no, nope, not true, not close. Not close. Israel's not a major country. Australia's not a major country. New Zealand's not a major country. Japan's not a major country. South Korea's not a major, it's just lies. Operation Warp Speed. We're producing a vaccine in record time. This is a vaccine that we're gonna have very soon, very, very soon, by the end of the year, but much sooner than that, perhaps. And this is something that's incredible. This would have taken two or three years by the last administration, and in all fairness, by most other administrations. We have upped it to a level that nobody even 
uh, believes is possible and totally safe. Joe well, Biden, the last administration Kamala didn't have COVID-19. Rated the most liberal are undermining science and risking countless lives with their reckless anti-vaccine rhetoric. That's what they're talking about. So now they know we have it. They're not. It's only a question of weeks or a small amount of time. So instead of saying, that's a great thing, we're going to save lives, they're trying to disparage it. They're nope. trying to make it politics. No. Nope. They're trying to do so. And now what's going to... They're just saying, if Trump says it's safe, we're not going to believe that. We need the doctors to say that it's safe. What's going to happen is we'll have it, and people won't want to take it. That's really bad, okay? That's really... Yeah, just like the hydroxychloroquine and the disinfectant in our veins. Bad, but... The Biden-Harris effort to spread anti-vaccine conspiracy. Did it, Steph? I haven't even read that. About the, is the AstraZeneca? Conspiracy theories only because they know we are close to putting it out, getting it out, and we're going to get it out fast. The vaccine will be safe. It, it will get out on a scientific schedule. We are worried that Trump is going to put it out before it is ready to be out. If these are the greatest companies. Because Stephen Hahn at the FDA is just a puppet. He's in the world that do this, the greatest labs, the greatest doctors. It'll be effective and it'll be delivered before the end of the year. I, I haven't even heard this about AstraZeneca, guys. I'm going to look that up. And maybe, as I said, much sooner than that. Joe Biden's plan to impose a blanket shutdown would collapse our economy and cause countless deaths from suicide, drugs, alcohol abuse, heart disease, and much more. And that's what you're in right now. You're in a shutdown. It's crazy. I've been to many. And yet they're all still alive. How? What is happening? States are not in shutdowns and they're doing better. They're doing better. How so? Somebody's got to speak to this man, Dan. Maybe you got to talk to him, Dan. Go in a little early and say, you don't know what the hell you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. They're hurting, they're hurting our people. North Carolina has to open up. By contrast, my administration is following the science, protecting those at highest risk while allowing those at lower risk to safely return to work and to school. Go back to school. Go back to school. You ever see the statistics on young people? I don't know. They just, they have a great immune system. Let's get some. It's the opposite of that. Yeah, I just looked up AstraZeneca. So, yeah, a person got sick and they paused the trials. That's pretty standard. That's why it takes so long to get a virus. They have to figure out how that person got sick, what the infection is, if it has anything to do with the vaccine itself. Um, so, yeah. Some of that immune system, but they're amazing. Yeah, Arizona's in terrible shape still. I mean, thousands and thousands of people, and they're not even affected very little meaning of a small percentage of one percent it's an incredible thing nobody knew that when it first came here nobody assumed a thing like that was possible but young people are very strong against this horrible disease through our historic china virus relief programs we've saved more than 1.3 million jobs for north carolina workers that worked out great we provided 380 million dollars in relief for north carolina farmers and made $10 million in PPP loans to save your state's tobacco growers. We save your tobacco growers. We have them very much in our sights. We want to help them. The Biden agenda would crush this comeback and put our families in grave danger. I, that's that's Biden not what in our sights means. We impose job destroying regulations. I, in our sights means you've got them targeted, like through the scope of a rifle. That's what in our sights means. So, no, he does not have the tobacco farmers in his sights. Of more regulations. He wants to put those regulations back plus 50 percent. You couldn't build a road. We took roads. Yeah. From 18, 19, and even 20 years approval, down to two, and we'll have it down to one. And you may get rejected for a highway or for a road, but you're going to know in the period of 12 months to 24 months, you're not going to spend an entire lifetime and then have them raise their head. I know all about it from the real estate business. We brought it all the way down. Do you? He wants to give illegal aliens, government health care, and taxpayer-funded lawyers, establish a national sanctuary city policy for illegal aliens with criminal records. You wouldn't believe, I mean, this stuff is not even really believable, but it is what it is. He wants to surge refugee admissions by 700% into our country, flooding your towns with poorly vetted migrants, 
including many from... They will be vetted multiple times before they're allowed in. And then refugees get extra vetting beyond what your normal immigration uh, participants get. It's... Yeah. Jihadist regions of the world. They also create jobs. They have a higher graduation rate than Americans that were born here. Uh, they have a much lower uh, criminality rate than Americans that were born here. But refugees are like they're the ideal people to bring into the country, except that a lot of times they don't have the right color skin. I get it. Biden opposes school choice. He opposes <sighs> North Carolina opportunity scholarships. And he has stated that if he is elected, charter schools are gone. He said they're gone. And they've been incredible. Look at, look at Tammy Lou in the background here. She's reacting to everything Trump is saying. Now she's going to give a big thumbs down for Biden. Yeah. In the second oh. term, I'll provide Ooh. school choice to every parent in America. Yes. Yes. School choice. I don't know what we'll that also is. also take good care of our teachers. Our teachers are very, very important to me. Very important. Nothing more important. Except for the ones that are dying because you're opening up the schools. A vote for Republicans is a vote for safe communities, great jobs, and a limitless future for all Americans. And just in finishing, I have to say that over Yay! the next four years, we will make America into the manufacturing superpower of the world, and we will end our reliance on China once and for all. Okay. Good. We'll make our medical supplies. Because that's definitely not what you were doing right before the virus hit. Right here in the United States. We will enact fair trade deals that create American jobs and grow American wages. We are going to bring our companies back home where they should be. And I've been doing a lot of it. But we are going to do it at a level that nobody ever thought possible. We well, what have you been waiting for? You've had, you've had the power for four years, buddy. Two of which you had the ultimate power. You had the House, you had the Senate, you had the executive branch, and nothing. So I'm not sure what you've been waiting for. I'm not sure why you want a do-over. We will rapidly return to full employment, soaring wages, and record prosperity. We will prosperity. hire more police. I want some prosperity. I'm very prosperity. A lot of people, they're consperity, but I'm very prosperity. Increase penalties first. Yeah, Leroy, I'm well aware that he's the president. This guy, this, I, welcome to the chat, Leroy. Thank you for coming in and informing us that Trump is the president. Thank, thank you for shining a light. You are a beacon of truth, Leroy. Please, please comment more. Assaults on law enforcement. <laughs> Hold on. Federal How do I do that, guys? Hold on. Hold on. I got a breaking. Leroy just informed us of something. Let's see if I can make this happen. I think I can make this happen. This is technically very, very complicated, but I think I can do this. Stay with me, guys. Here, I'll, I'll put him back on while I'm doing this. Prosecutors into high crime communities and ban all sanctuary cities. Okay. We will protect government benefits for American citizens, not for illegal aliens. What Hold you're on. doing when you have all of these advantages, when you're giving them free health care and free lawyers and free college and free everything, they all come. They didn't think of coming, but they see this. They talk and they talk to their friends and they all come, come in. They want to come to America. You're just bringing people in and we don't want to do that. We want people to come to our country, but they have to what? come in through merit and they have to come in legally. Very simple. Where exactly is merit? We will appoint prosecutors, judges, and justices who believe in enforcing the law, not their own political agenda. We will ensure equal justice for citizens of every race, color, religion, there you go. and creed. Breaking news, guys. The dignity of work and the sanctity. Trump is president, and I am not. That's the fact. That's truth. Thank you, Leroy, for sharing your wisdom with all of us. Of life. We will uphold religious liberty, free speech, and the right to keep and bear arms. We will strike down terrorists who threaten our citizens, and we will keep America out of endless, ridiculous foreign wars. 
We'll build up our military like it's never been built up before. We need our military for other reasons. We will have the strongest we have now. When I took over, our military was depleted. We have a lot of military people here. Our military was depleted. Our planes were 50 years old. Now ah, that's an excellent question, Todd. Um, uh, Leroy, is Todd president is what we want to know. Is Todd the president? Todd. So we'll await your response, Leroy. Now you have brand new, beautiful F-35s. We have brand new rockets and missiles. We, and hopefully we never have to use them, I will say that. But the best way of not having to use them is to have them. If you have them, we learned that in the schoolyards, right? We learned that in the schoolyards. The best way is to have them. We have the strongest military we've ever had by far. We'll end Prize we learned that in the schoolyards. The best way to not use an F-35 in the schoolyard is to have an F-35 in the schoolyard. Or just say that you do, because you know they're stealth. No one can see them. I have an F-35 over behind the jungle gym, guys, so you better not mess with me. ...require price transparency, which I've already signed into law, which, by the way, kicks in on January 1st. You better elect me, North Carolina. <laughs> I think Leroy's gone. I did price transparency. And I've cut the price. Drugs are going to start going down at levels nobody's ever seen favored nations. Yeah. He's just, he just, he wants to go. He's just throwing words in now. And I cut the prices down. Transparency, drugs, no favored nation. Nobody's, no one's seen. No more years. No more years. No more years. So we did price transparency. Kicks in January 1st. Could you imagine if this guy's president and yeah. the prices start going way down hospitalization, doctors, you can choose your own doctor, unlike with Obama. Price transparency is not going to make hospitalizations go down. And when was the last time you went to the ER and said, yeah, I'm bleeding profusely. I believe I've cut my femoral artery. How much would that be? Hold on, I'm just going to, yeah. Hi, uh, St. Edwards? Yeah, what do you charge for repairing a femoral artery? No, I don't know if there's any broken bones. Well, how much are your x-rays? Oh, he says there's x-rays on top of it. Yeah. Can you? Uh, can... Right, price is going way down. January 1st, I said, couldn't you start it sooner? But statutorily, that's when it had to start. Could you imagine if this guy's in and prices start dropping like a rock? And they'll say, what a great president he is. He would have never done it. And your drug prices, prescription drug, I'm instituting favored nations laws, so we're going to pay what other nations pay at the lowest end. I, th I thought he was just going to throw those words out and then and then move on with it. But no, he's got to stop and explain each one of those without really explaining them. You're going to get back rebates that we were given to middlemen who have to be the richest people in the world. Yeah. We'll protect Medicare and Social Security, and we will protect your Social Security, and we will always protect patients with pre-existing conditions. Always. Always. I know. We've been waiting for your announcement in August. Why is not the press hounding him about the very impressive health care? End of August. Well, he just, he does it over and over and over again, and we just, we move on. We don't care. America will land the first woman on the moon, and the United States will be the first nation to land an astronaut on Mars. Very exciting. You know, we reopened NASA. That place was gone. They had grass growing out of the runways. You had to see it. Now it's the number one space center in the world by far. By far. You see what's going on. There. You see what's going on. We will restore. I, I, I don't see what's going on. I saw a private rocket launch that the program was started under the Obama administration, but... Patriotic education to our schools. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, what I don't. You? What patriotic this education? This is a very sophisticated... Did we, did, when I was a kid, we didn't learn about the United States in school, apart from the history classes that we had to take every year and the civics classes that we had to take every year and the government class that we had to take in grade 12. Look, Tom. You and I didn't even live in the States. You know what I'm talking about, patriotic education. I don't. What does that mean? Well, the first thing they do is they want to take your history away. All right. 
Settle down. Oh! Wait, what happened? That's why the monuments and the statues, they want to... Because it's from Charlotte to Kitty Hawk. From... You see what's going on. We will restore patriotic education. Okay, we're right here. They're activists. What? That's a great group behind me. I don't know. Oh, okay. They're cheering for themselves. The monuments and the statues, they want to knock them down. The first thing they do is take away your guts. You know, it's guts. They what? take away your guts. They take away your statues. They take away your heroes. They take away your great generals. My guts are statues? Can I get those removed? At least now I can go to the hospital and compare the prices between for the statue removal. They take away your past. Mm. And I said it was going to happen. I yeah. said, you know what? They started off with generals and colonels and others that nobody... Yeah, but there was grass, Olix. So, you know, grass. You ever heard of? And I thought that was bad. And then they went up a little bit and I said, you know, someday it's going to be Robert E. Lee. Someday it's going to be Washington. Someday it's going to be Lincoln. Someday it's going to be Jefferson. Someday it's going to be Benjamin Franklin. It's all of them. It's all of them. Did Franklin own slaves? They take away your past. They're never taking away our past. They're never taking away our past. That's the way they do it. You study it. That's the way they go. They take away your guts. And we'll teach our children to love our country, honor our history, and always respect our great American flag. And we will live by the timeless words of our national... Uh, there's an answer to that. Franklin, uh, Benjamin Franklin owned two slaves during his lifetime, both of whom worked as household servants. Uh, but in his old age, he came to view slavery as a vile institution that ran counter to the principles of the American Revolution. Motto, in God we trust. Thank you, Rich. Wait, what was that sign? Oh. <laughs> They're holding signs that say peaceful protester. <laughs> what dicks? That's that's three to sixteen thousand dicks crowded into an airport hangar. Hold on, I'll ask. Alexa, did, did Benjamin Franklin own slaves? I have three places with soup near you. This is better than the arenas, I have to say. Is it though? Especially when you have a crowd like this, but they're like this. They have such spirit in this country. People love our country so much. I went to Texas, I went to Ohio, I went to Florida. It's you, always, must you must pay, you must pay. They love, they love our country. And we're not going to disappoint anybody. We're not disappointing them. For years, you had a president who apologized for America. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh, this is all he's wanted to hear from his dad for years. That's a lot of people standing behind him. We should go to right side and see how many people were actually in the audience. For America. Now you have a president who is standing up for America and standing up for the people of North Carolina. This is the most important election in the history. Interesting. I don't know if you guys can see it, but as you zoom out, there's fewer and fewer masks. And as you get closer to the background, they probably like they came around and they said, could you could you keep the masks on? Thank you. History of our country. And I wouldn't say that lightly. And frankly, I thought the last one was and I said it, but they've gone to a level that nobody even thought possible. These people have gone stone cold crazy. And you know what? After we get in, we're going to have tremendous success. And it was building. We were at a point we were so successful before the plague came in from China. We were so successful that we were starting to get together. People forget. We were starting. Success brings people together. It was so good. Our jobs numbers were so good. And whether whether it was the black community, the Hispanic community, the Asian. Yeah, screw you all. Alexa, did 
do something. Alexa, ignore my voice. Alexa, shut down. Alexa, close the garage. Alexa, unlock the doors. Alexa, call emergency. Community, our jobs were so good. Our numbers were so good. There was no, we were getting together. And then the play came in and we had to stop. We had to. Alexa, order me a dozen adult diapers. Close it up. We had to open it and start all over again. And, you know, if you would have told me that we have one of the highest. <laughs> the Alexa here is talking to me. And it's like three rooms away. It's kind of scary. Stock market. Some of the stock markets have already broken every record. You look at NASDAQ. You look at some. We have. We're far ahead of what I had planned. We're far ahead of schedule. But we did it once. We have to do it again because this was in. Alexa, turn off the studio the lights. Event, the horrible event. Holy so crap. People died. Nobody should have died. It's Not like one it's like three so rooms from here. Died. But if we didn't do it right, we would have been lo- we would have lost millions. Alexa, of turn on the studio lights. And uh, just a, a terrible thing. But how sensitive is that microphone? Together, and then I realized if you look at that last few months, we were starting. Alexa, to end the broadcast. I was calls from you won't believe it, Democrats. Whoa, I was that's not even a setting. Democrats, and they were sort of saying, "Wow, well, things are going really well." It was starting to happen. And now we have to get it back to a level of great success because it'll happen again. There'll be great unity. Eventually, there'll be great unity. Anyway, so there's a rally. So That's get your friends on. and get your family. Get your neighbors and your co-workers and vote. And I say this because it's from Charlotte to Kitty Hawk, from Durham to Asheville, and from Wilmington to right here in winston Cell. We inherit the legacy of North Carolina patriots who gave their blood, sweat, and tears for this beloved nation. So this is a money order for a dollar for the Board of Elections, New York City. I'm doing a Freedom of Information Act request from the Board of Elections in New York on this guy right here, that guy. They wanted a dollar because the information, it's 25 cents per page. I'm getting four pages of information. So I went and I got a dollar money order. Cost me $3 for a dollar money order. They don't take checks. They don't take personal checks. They only take corporate checks or money orders. Or I could go pay cash in New York. We've talked about this before, but I finally got the money order. I ventured into the 7-Eleven and I got myself some COVID. We stand on the shoulders of American heroes. Ooh, Rachel. Yeah, uh, Michael Cohen's on Rachel tonight at 6. That is... Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, that's half an hour from now. ...who crossed the oceans, blazed the trails, settled the continent, tamed the wilderness, dug out the Panama... Alexa, get Trump out of office. There's a little bit of delay, so I gotta wait for it to get to your... ...canal, laid down the railroads, revolutionized industry, won two world wars, defeated fascism and communism and made America the single greatest nation in the history of the world. None of which he did. Nothing. He's listing those all off, but he didn't do any of them. And we are making it greater than ever before. Oh, no. I, I don't think Alexa can actually call emergency, can she? I don't think that's a thing. I just made that up. I'm going to check. I was trying to be a douchebag, not an asshole. Citizens like you help build this country, and together we are taking back our country. We are returning power to you, the American people. With your help, your devotion, and your drive, we are going to keep on working. We are going to keep on fighting, and we are going. Alexa cannot call 911. Just so you know. Going to keep on winning, winning, winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are one movement, one people, one family, and one glorious nation under God. Raleigh's a nice little city. That's more of a village, but it's a, Raleigh's a cool little place. And together with the incredible people. Fantastic grilled cheese in Raleigh. People of North Carolina, we will make America wealthy again. Make it strong again. We will make America safe again. We will make again. America strong again. Yeah. Safe. We will make America proud again. What about prosperous? We will make America safe again. Safe, yeah, we said that. 
and we, we will, will make, make America, America great again. Oh, Thank you, North Carolina. I didn't see that coming. Now it's YMCA, so I got to turn down the volume. Let's go back. Let's go to right side broadcasting and see. Oh, did he touch the mic needlessly? I didn't even see that part. Hold on. Uh, here he is. Here he is coming down the runway. He took forever to get there from the plane. There we go. Proud to be an American. For at least I know I'm free. Okay. Touch the mic. Adjust it needlessly. There it is. Just <laughs> every time. Every time. I don't know what we're watching. Hold on. Uh, let's go to right side and see. Um, here we go. Oh, there's a chat room. Um, let's see. Campaign rally. Oh, that's upcoming. I wish my my system would do that. Um, overflow crowd campaign event one hour ago. So this is the airport. This is how many people were waiting around. This is the overflow crowd for this the the campaign. Alicia, so we just took watched. another two months. We finished it, and we're bringing them home. We're bringing them. Wow. Home. These great great warriors. People don't like it when I say that. Secured American energy independence and built the greatest economy in the history of the world. And now we are very simply, we're doing it again. Look at that. They're just, they're jammed in like cattle. And there's, I don't see a single goddamn mask. Oh, I see one, two. Ah, uh, one's behind my head. Just, uh, it's insane. People are coming there on buses. And we're on track to have, as I said, the best year. Wow. 10.6 million jobs in the last four There's months. There's a mask. Next year will There's be the one single way greatest there. economic year in the history of our country and probably in the history of your state if your governor ever opened. Wow. Okay. Well, that's interesting. How about we do this? How about we go to covidexitstrategy.org and take a look at uh, North Carolina. Waiting. North Carolina is still above 5%. Uh, sorry, I'm blocking you. Let me, I gotta fix the screen too. Let's see, I'll scroll up. There we go. North Carolina is still at 5.2% positivity. Uh, still 1,500 cases a day. There's the rest of the states. Anybody else want to do a state call up before we uh, get out of here? Let's see what's going on in Florida. Uh, uh, 3,500 cases a day. Positivity is still 13%. Uh, we'll do a little bit of this and then we'll get out of here, kids. Um, uh, Nevada, 11.1% positivity. Not good. Uh, Arizona, still 7% positivity. Much better than it was, but still not good at all. Oh, Idaho, 14% positivity. Uh, Middle America now, the South Dakotas. So this, the Dakotas have basically become uh, ground zero for, uh, for because of the Sturgis rally right here. We're Sturgis. 18.7% uh, right now in South Dakota. 19.6% in North Dakota. Uh, Michigan, Michigan, there it is. 2.7%, uh, but on the way up. Still, that's not bad. It's a nice yellow color. That's nice. Hawaii, you guys are screwed. Uh, oh, your positivity rate's getting better. 4% positivity down from 10% in the last two weeks. That's good. Uh, 217 cases uh, yesterday. So that's nice. Uh, what else? I missed somebody. New Jersey. Uh, New Jersey, you're looking at... Come on. 1.2% uh, positivity. Great, great job. Uh, New Jersey, but cases are increasing, but still 1.2% positivity is pretty damn impressive. Louisiana, uh, 5.7 in Louisiana, the, that's gone up, that's not good. 740 new cases a day, not good. Kentucky, nobody cares. Where's Kentucky? Is it even on the map? Kentucky. Ken yeah, I don't think Kentucky's part of the country, Todd. Uh, yeah. oh, oh, look at that, they put it back. Kentucky has 9.2%? Hump and Hosefe, uh, 667 new cases a day. 
In Kentucky? Uh, anybody else? Uh, Louisiana, we did that. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, I really want to take a nap after that, but it's only 5.30 in the afternoon. That's a pretty face. I, I don't even know what I was doing there. <laughs> I can't do it again. Uh, okay, kids. Um, lots of mastifiers. What, what was Kentucky? It was 9.2%. 9.2. There's no reason. Uh, from Sturgis, a study just came Oh, a really cool study just came out. Hold on. Did I retweet that? I can find it quickly if I retweeted that. Uh, give me a second here because it was kind of cool. Here it is. Yeah, I did retweet it. Give me a second here. We'll pull it up. Nope. Come on. Go back. Here, I'll just move the whole window over here. Here is the window. Here is my spout. Uh, so this this is the traffic emanating out of Sturgis. So there's your Sturgis. This is they just traced cell phones um, at random. Uh, sorry, anonymously. So this these are all the cell phones, but they can't trace individual people. So if you were in Sturgis, you're one of these dots on the map, and this is where the people from Sturgis went back to. And we don't know exactly how many people. We, we know at least 100 and, uh, what was it, 75, the last time I heard about it, uh, were a direct result of contraction from Sturgis. But then, of course, they go back to their other communities. We're all interconnected. Um, are we repeating again? Anyway, that's what happens. You have people come in from all over. They gather in a location, and they go back out, and they spread it all over. You'll notice that... Uh, Oh, a few of them went up as, as far as Quebec, a couple in Toronto. Most of them stop at the American border. Mm. Oh, well, hey, enjoy that. Enjoy that baby over Zoom. Do they send the baby pieces in boxes first so that you're, you have your baby, or do you all have individual babies to eat? That's great. Go, Hillary. Uh, okay, kids, I'm going to end on that, because why not? Here's something. Where are you going? <laughs> Joe Biden? Wait, what?